Well, hello again. Today we'll look at this, which is on top of the pile. Um, it's research I did for a friend. And we won't talk at all about their living or recently past relations uh, anonymity should be respected in this case but we will talk of uh, their ancestors and our shared ancestors most notable on this uh, first chart is the name of Joseph Soldat Amable Cardinal, first married to Rose, a Cree woman, after married to Louise Lizette, Mask Osk Oesk, um, who had some sort of a relationship with uh, Machipacos of unknown uh, origins. Now, Lisette Maskosk-Oesk was the daughter of Marie Maskigon, a Cree woman, and Joseph Frobisher. Um, interesting to note is the name Maskigon, as um, We've seen that name before associated with the Swampy Cree. So Joseph Soldat Amable Cardinal was the son of Joseph Carmel, excuse me. Joseph Soldat Amable Cardinal was the son of Joseph Cardinal and Marie Amable Imbalt, daughter of Marie Margaret Castiganon and Guillaume Imbalt de Matha, Quebecois. The son, excuse me, the daughter of Louise Lizette Masque Osk Oesk, the daughter of Marie Maskegon, a Cree woman, uh, sired by Joseph Soldat Amable Cardinal, is Josephette Suzette Cardinal, first married to Joseph Leducer. And they had children, not listed here. Next married to Joseph de Jarlet de la Douceur, whose son was Francois, chief Payasis de Jarlet, and whose daughter was uh, the daughter of Josephette Suzette Cardinal and Joseph de Jarlet de la Douceur, the sister of uh, chief Payasis, was uh, Genevieve de Jarlet. Her the wife of James Pruden, the son of John Peter Pruden, and his Cree half-breed wife Anne, or Nancy Padasagawisk, or Padasagawis. John Peter Pruden, the father of James Pruden, was the son of Peter Pruden and Margaret Smith, widow of Fraser. This is a Red River family. Uh, John Peter Pruden furthermore went on to marry Anne Armstrong, no children. So the Pruden name comes up in association with the Cardinal and La Ducer and De Charlet Voyageur names. Yet the Pruden were very much Anglo and I believe that they they stood at Red River in opposition to the uh, French and First Nations at the Battle of Seven Oaks but you know that's just uh, my supposition I'll, I'll have to research it and so should you because um, all of us true Canadian folk had relations on both sides of that 
uh, battle, and the same can be said of the Battle of Grand Cocteau, and uh, many of the uh, fits further eastwards and back in time to the beginning. For indeed, albeit uh, uh, our ancestors did uh, uh, war with each other, they also wed into each other's relations. Um, perhaps this kind of goings on might have something to do with God's creation of human beings, male and female, madeth he them after his own likeness. The two sides of the coin, so to speak. And we must take the good with the bad. No, that's not what I mean. The male um, uh, uh, gave the rib and the lady of the rib is more supplicant to the male. Uh, this be prominent all through nature. Here we find a family from Hess, Germany. And they're married into the Pruden family. But again, we're talking about my friends living relations and nigh dead uh, family so we shout further on that. On the other hand we'll look here at this piece of paper and begin in the Red River Colony with HBC middleman Alexandre Landry and his wife Marguerite Inconu or they don't know if she's a white or First Nation. Their son, HBC middleman Alexander Laundry, um, married Marie Testewich Simard, the daughter of Marie Netawikyek um, from Oregon, sired of Jean-Baptiste Simard, most likely a voyageur, um, him having maybe, maybe accompanied Sir Alexander Mackenzie to the Pacific, 1792-93. That's just a comment that I myself made after researching the name and the family and the relation. Um, now, Marie Netalikiak of Oregon is most likely a beaver Indian woman or a Denza uh, a woman. But uh, just as much as Jean-Baptiste Samard was no doubt a voyageur and likely with Mackenzie, uh, perhaps uh, Marie Nat uh, uh might have relation to the Iroquois, whom were also uh, prominent in exploration thereof at that time. In any event, we find uh, HBC middleman Alexander Landry uh, <coughs> marrying Marie Testewich Simard at Fort Des Prairies, Edmonton, and their daughter Marie Anne Landry wed Raphael Morin, the, the son of Raphael Morin, and Betsy Cook, the daughter of Flora. Raphael Moran was the son of Antoine Moran and Pelagie Boucher. So it's probably both a Matisse would be a Kiltus family and a First French family or a Quebecois family to be precise. So here we find Charles Pruden, the son of Charles Pruden, the son of James Pruden and Genevieve de Jarlet, um, him having wed Rosalie Vandal, the daughter of Marie Primo and Jean-Baptiste Vandal, 
and them being the parents of Charles Pruden, the husband of Marie Elizabeth Moran, the daughter of Marianne Landry, the daughter of Marie Tashtewich Shimard, the daughter of Marie Natawikik of Oregon, and the daughter of Marie Elizabeth Moran was Marie Margaret Pruden, sired of Charles Pruden. And here we find that relation entering into the modern world. So we won't talk more of that family here. <clears throat> we'll look here a little bit at uh, Isaac Bedard, uh, Maitre Charpentier de Grosse Ouvres, which is to say that he was a master carpenter on great big buildings like cathedrals, churches. So this guy. Um, stood with equal, equal ranking to any of the old world masons that uh, were used in constructing those uh, magnificent stone cathedrals with all the gargoyles and whatnot on them. Herewith we begin that uh, Yannick Bedard married Royan Font Bedeau and sired of her Pierre Bedard who married Philomene Labelle, the mother of Jahan, or Jean Bedard de Bedeau, the husband of Anne Bouillon. Their child was Isaac Bedard, and he married Yahul Rouleau, uh, whom bare he Jacques Bedard, the husband of Marie Garano, the parents of Isaac Bedard. Maitre Charpenter des Gros Ouvres, the husband of Marie Girard, daughter of Francois Giraudet and Simon Girard, Huguenot family of La Rochelle. So that's just a, another one of those bricks, you know. Uh, it, it was just something to chat about. Now we find ourselves again dealing with um, one of the principal Meacutus families. We talked some days ago on Chewenacqua La Framboise. Here she is listed as a Nakoda woman, Josephette Chewanaqua, the wife of Joseph Francois Laframbois, then the parents of Louise Laframbois, whom was first wed to John Wells of Ireland and sired a Mea Kiltis family in the Northwest. Louise Laframbois was next wed with Isidore Aikapau Dumont Père, the father of Chef Mette Gabriel Dumont, the husband of Madeleine Wilkie, um, a daughter of uh, Alexander Wilkie, the Scotsman. That family associated very closely with uh, um, Cuthbert Grant, the warden of the Plains, Saint François Xavier in uh, Red River Settlement. Uh, Isidore Icapau du Mont Père uh, is listed here as also having wed Angelique Landry, whom shared parents with the small family. So that's a nice little uh, a serial relationship uh, founding <clears throat> a uh, major artery where with the uh, holy blood of our nation 
uh, doth flow from its source unto us folk today. <clears throat> and again, um, another serial relationship here of importance related to that is that of uh, Jean-Baptiste Dumont and uh, Joseph and Josette Carey, the Sarcy woman. Now, of course, we know that uh, she was also wed to Jean-Baptiste Bruno, who's uh, their son together, Jean-Baptiste Kissy Bruno, had wed uh, Suzanne Soto and Louise Montour, who mothered he, Michel Jocum Bruno, a name that you could probably find a lot out about if you did some research. The important thing listed here is uh, uh, the full name of Mr. Durand is Joseph Paulette Durand. And it seemed to be that um, he may have had a son named Paul Nabir Niawakanis Durand. But, you know, uh, the, the brick becomes a little the writing you see it's uh, it's a little bit uh, crossed out I, so we'll just carry on and uh, talk more of this <clears throat> uh, of this family <coughs> a relationship uh, between uh, Please excuse me. Okay, we'll just begin here in Scotland with James Campbell having wed Elizabeth Buchanan. And their son, United Empire loyalist Alexander Campbell, uh, married Magdalena Van Sys. Her was the daughter of Johannes van Sys, a gunsmith and an armorer, and his wife was Margarita Fort. Um, now, Magdalena van Sys had a brother named Sergeant Moses Campbell, and another brother, jo James Campbell, whom was also a soldier. Those men and Alexander Campbell were um, involved in the French and Indian Wars during the Seven Years' Wars. Now, Alexander Campbell was a lieutenant of the Black Watch, which is uh, a Scottish regiment of the British Army. Here, the 42nd Regiment of Foot and he was wounded at Ticonderoga and uh, forced to resign his commission. So, the son of Alexander Campbell and Magdalena Van Sys was John Duncan Campbell, a member of the Northwest, or excuse me, a member of the Beaver Club. He married Catherine, an Indian woman, or a half-breed woman, he saith not. And their son, Duncan Campbell Sr., uh, was the second wife of Nancy Ogden Henry, previously wed to William Pruden Sr. Uh, her, the sister of Alexis Henry, the husband of Marie Leone Ditdone, our close ancestor, as well as um, the sister of Josephette Allery Dit Henry, the wife of Joseph Leone Ditdone, ou Delone. So again, we see the close relationship of uh, uh, two different siblings from two different families um, marrying together. 
uh, no doubt because their cabins were in close proximity to each other. Our ancestors did not see each other on a daily basis. And if you did, it was because you were very close or maybe living together. But for most of these people, there were long periods of time apart betwixt meeting with each other. And when love relationships developed, they, they developed uh, in part because of proximity. The more you saw of each other, the more likely it was that you may relate as opposed to them others which were mayhaps further away. Louis Chaboyer is said to be here the uh, husband of uh, Louise Chartrand called a Sato woman, her the daughter of Louise Mazenac Kamikak, a Sato woman, the wife of Paul Joseph Paulette Chartrand, the son of Pierre Aimable Chartrand, and Marie Josephette Courette, the daughter of uh, Pierre Courette and Angelique Marie, the Vautour, the daughter of Madeleine Miranda and Joachim de Vautour. And Marie Chaboye, the daughter of uh, Louis Chatran, Soto, and Louis Chaboyer married Pierre Goulet, the son of Louis Goulet, and Emily, aka Helene Wenzel, the daughter of William Wenzel and Agatha Henry. Previously wed to William Henry, the husband of Charlotte Felton. So that is perhaps um, the adventurer and his sister, maybe? It doesn't say. In any event, it was nice to uh, talk of uh, United Empire loyalist Alexander Campbell. And his brothers, Sergeant Moses Campbell, and James Campbell, a soldier of the 42nd Regiment of Foot. Here's something I, I threw together for a close friend uh, involving uh, um, Northwest Mounted Police officers present uh, during events in uh, Saskatchewan territory uh, uh, involved in uh, war against the native people um, now one one of my aunts I guess great great aunts married one of those men so that must have been an incredible love story and um, on this chart here, we may find it and talk of it later. Um, we'll just run through this quickly. It's just a few names. Northwest Mounted Police Charles Parker married Mary Ellen Burke, um, a Norman Irish woman. We see here William Burke and Catherine Bryan of Ireland were the parents of Paddy Burke of the Northwest Mounted Police and his brother Patrick Burke of the Northwest Mounted Police whom was uh, more so uh, present in the Wolseley expedition and um, played a role in the Battle of Cutknife Hill. He is um, he, 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 he is the one whom married uh, Sarah Carrier. So that is just something to look at, don't you think? I mean, that's all we're doing. I don't think a whole hell of a lot of people care too much anyhow. 
<clears throat> we're not going to talk of this because it involves a European family that I was looking at and we're not going to get into it. So here we see um, the ancestors of Marie Antoinette Madeleine Le Boucher, the wife of Jacques Claude Benoit Aubert. And Marie Antoinette Madeleine Le Boucher was the daughter of Francois Pechny, the daughter of Marie Castry, and Fagan Francois Pechny. The father of Marie Antoinette Madeleine Le Boucher was Jacques Boucher, the son of Jean Boucher, the son of Jean Boucher, Dit Le Maire, and Eugene Fournier. Jean Boucher, Dit Le Maire, was the son of Jehan Boucher and Alice Helsam, the daughter of Anne Holt of England and John Helsam, the son of Richard Helsam and Margaret Davenport. Jan Boucher, dit La Marche, husband of Jehan Fournier, daughter of Catherine Houault, Uhout, wife of Guillaume Bournier, son of Guillaume Bournier, son of Jacques Bournier, born and Genevieve Roy, the husband of Marie Labreque. Daughter of Louise Coulombe and Charles Labrec. So, you know, that was just something to talk about, wasn't it? I mean, I could have thrown it in the garbage, but um, I didn't. And what we see here are English ladies married to the Bouchers, which were a... Uh, a French family. So no doubt these English ladies were of Norman extraction or perhaps maybe Breton or uh, uh, Bretagne. Uh, that's just, you know, an assumption on my behalf. But at that time and in, in that, we, we may also further state that perhaps the Boucher family here probably had leanings towards uh, Protestantism, or in French called Calvinism, after John Calvin. Um, and that be the foundations of the Huguenot, but none of these are listed as Huguenot. So this is that what we looked at yesterday and as you can see it's a pretty extensive chart um, that has different roots leading back to London and Scotland and England uh, we'll start there with a small serial relationship involving Charlotte Felton, the daughter of Sir John Felton of England, governor of Balearic Islands near Spain. Her, the wife of Northwest Company and Hudson's Bay Company, Uh, clerk William Honor Ellery de Henry, the son of Montreal merchant Alexander Henry the Elder, 
it doesn't say his wife, but we see here that uh, Henry Elder was also married to Julia Kelcutt of Ireland, the widow of John Kitson of England. And we will encounter that story again with further detail and further information later. Back to our little uh, serial relationship between Charlotte Felton, William Honor Ellery Did Henry, and Agatha, Agatha Latendra, or the daughter of Jean Baptiste Latendra, whom uh, here is said to have participated in the Thompson expedition, David Thompson's expedition across Canada to do uh, uh, the great map that. Um, you really should look it up. I'm not going to tell you. Uh, things slip out of my mind and I don't want to make mistakes. It's such an important person and thing. Agatha Agatha Latendra was also married to Joseph Page. So that is an important serial relationship and we've talked extensively on it. We won't go into it much more. <coughs> Part of the reason why this is such a, a big chart or a, a, a long scroll of a chart is that uh, uh, the families of the children of William Honor Ellery Henry and Charlotte Felton were married into um, extensive families. For example, Marie Nancy Ogden Henry was first wed to William Pruden. Them, the parents of Cornelius Pruden, the husband of Jane Rowland, the daughter of Elizabeth Bellandine and William Rowland, Jane Rowland and Cornelius Pruden were the parents of Eliz Eliza Pruden, the wife of John Sayer. And there's more said of the Pruden family, which takes up the whole side of this chart. Back to the other side, we see the uh, brother of Marie Nancy Ogden Henry, Alexis Henry, was the husband of Marie Lyonnais de Tonnet, the parents of Euphrosine Alphonsine Henry, and her, the wife of Antoine Vandal Fee, the son of ex Soviet hero Antoine Vandal de Machos, and his wife Isabella Millet de Beauchamin, the daughter of Marie Parenteau, the daughter of Suzanne Chris, and Joseph Parenteau. And her, the father of Isabelle Millet de Beauchamin was the hunter Benjamin Beauchamin, the son of André Millet de Beauchamin and Charlotte Peltier. So that is definitely an ex family. Now Marie Lyonnais de Tonnet had a brother called Joseph Leone de Tonne ou Delone, and him wed Joseph at Allery de Henry, the daughter of Satus Ojibwe woman Louise Katawa Kamikits, called Sinks in the Earth or Walking uh, Under the Ground. And her husband was Francois. Lyonne Donne did or ou Delane, son of Francois Donne and Marie Marguerite Rouen. Hence we see uh, uh, how that Quebecois blood line uh, moved westwards. Um, Line, uh, moved westwards um, 
further westwards beyond the eastern woodlands and into uh, more into the plains I reckon now let us return again to uh, Marie Nancy Ogden Henry the daughter of uh, Charlotte Felton and William Honor Ellery Henry son of Alexander Henry the Elder She had first wed, as said, William Pruden, but she was also thereafter the wife of Duncan Campbell Sr., son of Beaver Club member John Duncan Campbell, and we just discussed him, and his wife, Catherine, a half-breed Indian woman. Of course, uh, John Duncan Campbell is the son of United Empire loyalist Alexander Campbell, whom was wounded at Ticonderoga, him a lieutenant with the Black Watch during the French Indian Wars, um, his first wife having been Catherine Vetter of New York, uh, New York. Again, the man's brothers and family are listed, and we've talked to them last much. Hence, we move on on this chart which uh, now <clears throat> we'll pay some attention here to what's said of the uh, children of John Peter Pruden, the son of Peter Pruden and Margaret Smith, widow of Frazier. The wife of John Peter Pruden, or the first wife, his second wife being Anne Armstrong, was the Cree the first wife of John Peter Pruden was the Cree half-breed woman, Anne Nancy Patasagawesk, or Patasagawes. We talked to William Pruden, their son. So now we'll talk of his brother, or older brother, as listed on this chart, Peter Pruden, who married Joseph Suzette Jollycourt, the daughter of Louis Jolicoeur, a French-Canadian, and his Cree wife, Suzette. The son of Peter Pruden and Josephette Suzette Jolicoeur, the daughter of the Cree woman, Suzette, was John Edward Pruden, and he married Mary Isbister, the daughter of Francis Fanny Sinclair and John Alexander Ibister, brother of Thomas Abister, a postmaster of the Hudson's Bay Company, and also the brother of sea captain, Captain Colin Robertson Sinclair. Excuse me, we see here that sea captain, Captain Colin Robertson Sinclair, was the brother of Francis Fanny Sinclair, married to John Alexander Abister, the son of James Ibister and Helen, or James and Helen Ibister. I found that a lot of fun to look at then, and I do again now. Every time we talk of people such as sea captains, it just excites the pirate in me. And if you know of my personal history, that might tickle you. Now, the parents of the Sinclairs, Francis Fanny Sinclair and Captain Colin Robertson Sinclair, were uh, William Sinclair the Elder of the Orkneys and his Cree wife, Margaret Nahawe Sinclair, who went on to marry John Forbes and uh, mothered of he, Benjamin Sinclair. Or perhaps she mothered Benjamin Sinclair and uh, married John Forbes after him raising the son of William Sinclair the Elder. As said before, oft times the Scots of the Orkneys would return back to the Orkneys and abandon their families, but I'm not saying that happened here because I don't know and it's not written such. What is exciting to see here is that uh, the Cree woman, Marguerite, Nahoe Sinclair, the wife of William Sinclair the Elder, 
of the Orkneys. Um, was the sister of Mary Norton, the wife of Samuel Hearn uh, of Montreal, a naturalist, an explorer, and a fur trader, the son of Diana Rowan and Samuel Hearn, secretary of the is Secretary of, of the Waterworks of London Bridge. Samuel Hearn married Diana Rowan. Their son was Samuel Hearn, a naturalist explorer and a fur trader, whom wed Mary Norton, sister of Creed Margaret Nahone Sinclair. And they were the daughters of Richard Norton and Susanna Dupier Norton. Now we see here that there is some kind of mark here. They may have been the daughters, Crete Margaret Nahoni Sinclair and Mary Norton were the daughters of Isa Saya Pugh. Okay, there there is uh, some dis some confusion there. What I will end us chatting about this chart is that uh, Samuel Hearn. Um, is an ancestor of my stepfather's mother, Margaret Hearn, whom um, had wed Christopher Finlay, an ancestor of Jocko Finlay. So, those Anglos differed somewhat from the French here, in this regard, uh, being more of um, folk of Rupert's land and the northern woodlands rather than the buffalo hunter French tradition further south. This is that other mess we looked at. the other day. Again, you see it's a big chart. Um, it looks like it talks about several, uh, some eight generations or more. So we'll dive right into it. I see here the Crest family comes up. So, you know, I like to talk about uh, that, that that, that founding family, the Crests, the Guillaume, the um, Cartier, Peltier, Gagnon, they stand a little bit different from uh, what I term the first French family or them whom settled at Quebec. Here we begin in La Rochelle, France, of Port City. Johan Perron, husband of Marie Pinot, were the parents of John Perron, who wed Marie Pinel. Their son was Francois Perron, who married Jean Swire, the daughter of Marie Raoul de Morinville and Andre Swire. The son of Francois Perron, and Jean Swire was Daniel Perron, Ditch Swire, the husband of Louise Gargotten, the daughter of Francois Bernard and Jacques Gargotten. Two children are listed, born of Daniel Perron, Ditch Swire, and Louise Gargotten. Antoine Perron is listed as the husband of Jean Tremblay, marked with a star. His sister, Madeleine Perron de Soir, was the wife of Louis Tremblay, marked with the star. Them, brother and sister, Jean Tremblay and Louise Tremblay. Uh, so we see again the importance of proximity. 
Pierre Perron de Schweier, the son of Antoine Perron and Jean Tremblay, wed Felicity Bouchard de Petit Claude. Their son was Antoine Perron de Schweier, whom wed Marie Suzanne Desbien and had children, but is also listed as having wed the sister of Marie Suzanne Desbien, Francois Desbien, and having no children. So other siblings of the Desbien sisters are mentioned. Marie-Angelique Desbien, the wife of Francois Xavier Bouchard de Petit Claude. Of course, he is the uh, sibling or brother of uh, Felicity Bouchard de Petit Claude, the mother of Antoine Perron de Soire. So that is a generational bridge. Um, this is because, as said, they had huge families, some women having 18 or more children in their lifetime. And again, everybody was stuck in close proximity, albeit there was movement of persons men were called away to go on work projects in distant colonies and would be gone uh, for extended periods and during those times uh, women would marry. I'm not sure what people thought of divorce back then but these Roman Catholics you know they did intermarry often. The son Cecil Desbian or excuse me, the daughter, Cecil Diaz-Ben, was the wife of Matthew Savard, the parents of Laurent Savard, whom wed Teresa Brassard, again, relations of mine. <clears throat> now, those are four Despian daughters, Marie-Suzanne, Francois, Marie-Angelique, and Cecile. And they are the daughters of Suzanne Royer, and Etienne Diaz-Ben, whom had prior wed or been married to Marie Dorothy Tremblay, the daughter of Louis Tremblay and Marie Madeleine, excuse me, Madeleine Perron de Soire, the sister of Antoine Perron, the children of Danielle Perron de Soire and Louise Gargotin. So, We're dealing uh, very much so with the Quebecois persons now. Uh, and these are mostly related to me. Suzanne Royer, the mother of those four thespian girls, was the daughter of Catherine Margaret Dumont de La Fleur, the daughter of Catherine Topson, the daughter of Marie Clemenceau and Charles Topson. And the father of Catherine Marguerite Dumont de la Fleur, the wife of Jean Royer, was uh, Julien Dumont de la Fleur, uh, the Carignan Salier uh, Saint Maximi, or the Maximi Company, and him, the son of Jacques Dumont de la Fleur, and Marie Maubert. Usually, we find out about many of these folk um, from France, like the parents here of Julien Dumont de la Fleur, but they be but names, you know, when you sign on to be the soldier, they say, who is your mother, who is your father, and that's how we know of the parents, nothing else. In many cases, not even a birth or a death date. Jean Royer, the husband of Catherine uh, Marguerite Dumont de la Fleur, the parents of Suzanne Royer, um, I had a sister named Isabel Elizabeth Royer. Her, the wife of Robert Pepin de la Chance. And his brother was Jean Pepin de la Chance, the husband of Marguerite Marie Moreau, the daughter of Jean Le Cook, the daughter of Jean Baudelot and Jacques Le Cook, whom wed 
Martin Laporte de Moreau, the son of Gaspard Laporte de Moreau and Marie Gladys. Jean Pepin de La Chance and Marie Moreau were the uh, parents of Louis Joseph Pepin, the father of uh, Louis Etienne Pepin, whom wed Jean Johann McClure of Orange, New York. And them were the parents of Antoine Theodore Pepin, who married Charlotte, Charles Desrosier de Guire, the daughter of Marie Louise Carey and Joseph de Guire, both of whom have extensive names here. We'll start with Joseph de Guire was the son of Pierre de Guire and Jean Gazelle. Pierre de Guire was the son of Francois de Guire, de La Rose, and Marie Rose Collin. And Jean Gazelle was the daughter of Jean Bovet and Jean Gazelle de Blet. Uh, Carignan Salier of uh, Compagnier uh, de saint Hours, the son of Pierre Gazelle and François, Rapport Jardinier. The parents of the wife of Jean Gazelle de la Blette is uh, uh, Julien Beauvau and Catherine Pio were the parents of Jean Beauvais, the wife of Jean Gazelle de Bet, the Carl Gonsalier de saint Lars, the parents of Pierre de Guire and Jean Gazelle, the parents of Joseph de Guire, des Rosiers, the husband of Angelique Pepin, the daughter of Robert Pepin de La Chance, and Isabelle Elizabeth Royer. So we've gone quite a circle there to talk about them folks. You might think it's confusing and boring, but if you listen and maybe get a pen and paper out, you can make notes or do some research yourself. And uh, I'm enjoying myself, so I didn't want to just throw all this stuff away without any ado whatsoever. I mean, the whole idea behind us together now here talking of this is that it's not garbage. Louis Etienne Pepin and Jean Johann McClure of Orange, New York, were the parents of Antoine Theodore Pepin. Him having wed Charlotte Charles de Saint-Rosier, and their son was Antoine Francois Pepin, the husband of Marianne Montagne. Uh, Charlotte Charles de Rosier de Guire was the daughter of Gabriel Patry, the daughter of Catherine Venesse, the daughter of Fideroy Jean Fourier, the daughter of Jean Bousson and Pierre Fourier. Fideroy Jean Fourier was the wife of Francois Venesse, the son of Paul Venesse and Barbotil. Catherine Venesse, daughter of Jean Fourier and Francois Venesse, was the wife of Jean Fatry, and they were the parents of Gabriel Patry, the wife of Francois Carey, the son of Donna Tien Carey and Anne Lemar. So, I see not any further descent thereof, albeit we return our attention uh, back here, um, which may serve some interest to us together here at this time for uh, another family be listed here that might hold some interest for you. 
uh, beginning in the Netherlands with Jan Gardinier and his wife Jans Floder. The parents of Hendrik Jansen Gardinier, the husband of Barbara Leandertz, again of the Netherlands. Her, the daughter of Anna Adriana Bastiance and Hendrik Leandertz of the Netherlands. So, Jan Hendrik Gardinier, son of Hendrik Janssen Gardinier and Barbara Leandertz, was the husband of Elti Jakobsen, the daughter of Hendrik Wolters. Wolterson and Tunis Jakobsen of the Netherlands. Jacob Janssen Gardinier, the son of Jan Hendrika Gardinier and Elti Jakobsen, married Josna, the daughter of Gnu Flader Kinderhoek. And their son was Jan Jakobs Gardinier. And he wed Sarah Janse van Bremen of Albany, New York. Her, the daughter of Catherine Trinity Andresen of Ireland, and Jan Dirksen van Bremen. Him having arrived in New Amsterdam, 1638, August 4th, aboard. Uh, the ship, the Arms of Norway, that had sailed 1638, May 12th. So they were at sea a long time. Uh, Jan Dirksen van Bremen was the son of Elchi of Germany and Jan Dirks, Dirks van Bremen of Germany. So we see a mix here of Irish and German and Dutch blood all wound up in Eldi Jans Gardinier, the daughter of Sarah Jans van Bremen, the daughter of Catherine Trinity, Adriansen of Ireland. Elida Jans Gardinier was the wife of Jan Phineas Finn of Ireland, who had previously been married to Jav van Shaik of New York. Elida Jans Gardinier, mother of Jans Phineas Finn, a daughter named Jean Johnny Jans Finn. And I see not how that be related to the chart we were studying, but it be on this page as well. As is this. Didier Denis Bacher, the husband of Jacqueline boucher Force, the parents of Antoine Bosch, Antoine Bosch married Marguerite Guibert Gilbert, daughter of Marie Arcochet, Marcochet, Guibert de Guibert, born home, the wife of Nicolas Guibert. And they were the parents of Guillaume Boucher, Boucher de Morency, whom wed Marianne Peredis, the daughter of Barbe Guillaume and Pierre Jacques Peredis. Francois Racine wed Marie Boscher. Francois Racine wed Marianne Boscher de Morency, the daughter of Marianne Paradis, the daughter of Barbe Guillaume. Her was the mother of Claire Racine, the wife of Capitaine de Malice Saint Francois Joseph Lepage, the brother of Marie Madeleine Lepage, the wife of Gabriel Tiverge. Ancestors of mine. The parents 
of Capitaine des Milices, Saint Francois Joseph Lepage and Marie Madeleine Lepage, were Louis Lepage, son of Etienne Lepage, son of Germain Lepage and Rene Larry. And the mother of Louis Lepage was Nicholas Berthelot, daughter of Louise Goulet and Antoine Berthelot, the son of Jacques Berthelot and Isabelle Moran. Yak Berthelot, the son of Guillaume Moran and Perrine Mahi. Um, we see here that Louis Lepage, the son of Etienne Lepage and Nicole Berthelot, the daughter of Louise Goulot and Antoinette, Antoine Berthelot, uh, later was Jean Bouchard d'Orval another Claude Bouchard, him a uh, sergeant mythic. So I bet you that confused the hell out of you because I certainly am. The wonderful thing about this confusion though, this time together being confused or getting confused is dealing with that um, European uh, relationship. The, the Swiss, the Dutch, the Germans, the Irish, and the French, all mixed in with different native bloodlines. So, you may not think much of us, but I think uh, somewhat a little bit more, my thanks. I see here several pages, yet in closing, we'll deal with this one. The uh, family up here, Don Darno de la Jeunesse. This is a Huguenot family of the mid-16th century La Rochelle Ornest, France. Simon Dandano, husband of Michel de Saracne, formerly Eurasme, were the parents of Jacques Dandano, born in 1594 Ornest, France. Him the husband of Isabel Fain, the daughter of an unknown woman, and Jean Cavalier, Master Taylor de Habats en Paris. Her was born about 1597, La Rochelle Ones. Okay, there is a tremendous error on my part here. We will re-begin, ignoring what I have just said concerning Miss Isabel Fane. Her parents be not mentioned here. She does be the wife of Jacques Dardano, Dan Dardano, and they were married 1613-03-03 La Rochelle Normandie, Marche, Basse Normandie, France. Them were the parents of Madeleine Dandano, born 1614-03-14, Borg de Nuil, Honest France, baptized two days later at the Temple of St. Jean, her a Calvinist. Her younger brother Andre Dandano, born 1622-04-01, Nuil, Sur Mer, Honest France. Pierre Dandano de la Younes was the husband of Fille de Marie Francois Jobin, 1634-1702, a pioneer, a colonial pioneer, a Fille de Marie, a Fille à Marie, woman. I'm not sure we talked about the Fille à Marie yet, so I'm glad we brought this page to our attention because... There is something, again, you should look at. These uh, Fia Marie means a marriageable women. At the time, there was uh, some, uh, what, say 60 women sent to France with 200-some men uh, there working. Uh, of course, there were relations happening with the Indian ladies, but uh, no one ever talks about it, except uh, unless it gets written down and recorded as an actual marriage producing children. Um, 
which did happen, but the uh, interrelation between the peasant classes and the First Nation women uh, goes way back to uh, the Breton, Portuguese, uh, and uh, Spanish-French fishermen that uh, piloted uh, the Maritimes in search of cod and whale and may have seal long before any of the first explorers came to Canada. The Girard family here is mentioned, but uh, only in the context of the brother of Francois Jobin, Fiamerier, was Charles Jobin, 1629 to 1705, him having wed Marie Duval, and their son Charles Jobin uh, wed Marie Madeleine Girard first and Marie Rousseau later. Now Marie Madeleine Girard here is the daughter of Michel Morlet and Gilles Girard, the son of Marin, Marc Girard and Madeleine Hébert of France, Normandy. We see here the name of Hébert. It, like Bouchard and many other names, uh, common or somewhat common in France, uh, came to Canada despite them not having as close a relationship as a shared name might imply. Now let us deal with that mistake I made at the beginning when dealing with Jean Cavalier, Master de Habets de Paris, uh, Master Taylor for uh, the common guy, the habitant of Paris, the, the Joe guy on the street. He went here an unknown woman, the sister of Marie Duval, the wife of uh, Charles Jobin, the father of, or may have been the father of Jacques Jobin of France, the husband of Marguerite Roy, and them was the parents of uh, Francois Jobin, Fia Merier. Now, her uncle, Jean Jobin, first wed uh, Marie Gerard, and next wed Angelique Simon, whom uh, of she, he sired Jean Angelique Marie Jobin. Of course, an unknown woman here is mentioned as being the uh, mother of uh, Michel and Francois uh, Cavalier. No. Uh, Michel and Francois Duval, the uh, nephews of Marie Duval, the wife of Charles Jobin, having her here listed uh, an unknown brother and an unknown sister. So that'd be a huge old family. And on this uh, verso of that page, it kind of brings us back to where we've been the past few days when we deal with Chief Gigi just Gosakot. Gigi Gigi Gosakot. Gizig Gosikwad, the great Thunderbird. Him was the father of Chief Misk Wandibagan, called Red Scholar, Hom Elated Rouge. Born 1550, the brother of Uchigan Uchigan Ojibwe. Chief Gigi Gossicot, the great Thunderbird, is also called Sky is Afraid of the Man, Wahaza Medawakanton, which is not so to say Wahaza uh, Medawakanton. It's not so much to say that is his name as it is uh, uh, somewhat of a, uh, an important title uh, passed on. Uchiga Uchiga Ojibwe was the parent of Chief Wabugig Ojibwe, principal chief of the reindeer dynasty, 
the father of Chibna Aquad of Kinawa Bay, Baraga, Michigan of the Reindeer Dynasty, the father of Grand Chief Josh Ojibwe of uh, Minnesota Territory there, uh, born before 1730, his wife Leonona Fox Woman, and um, the other son of uh, Chitna Equad, uh, Kinawana Bay, was Chingun, a Fond Lake band uh, called Chizingi Baba Basam, uh, Shingop Chingun, Nukawashti, the father of We Onona, Winona, Oben Eg Shipakwa, Wapasha Ojibawa, a woman of the Ojibawa Fox, who was the wife of Ojibawa Nation Grand Chief Mamangazida, Loon's Foot or Bigfoot or Loon's Bigfoot, Medawakantan, Wahaza Medawakantan again comes up. So it's kind of like a shamanistic title, I think. And I think this is where we'll call it quits and start next time. Uh, that is an incredibly important name and we've talked enough today. So, God's grace and peace be with ye all. Till next time.